Hey, this is Cameron with iPropertyManagement.com, and today I'm going to do a quick review and walkthrough of TransUnion's Smart Move Tenant Screening Services. Now, first of all, you'll notice right there in the name that this Smart Move service is powered by TransUnion, which is one of the three major credit bureaus. So, right from the start, you can know that the reports and the data they're pulling should all be extremely accurate. Next, uh, let's take a look at their pricing real quick. You'll see that their top package. Um, it's a pretty nice package where you get national criminal, um, national eviction data, full credit report. They also have their, their own trademarked credit-based resident score, which is um, they claim it's 15% more accurate at predicting evictions than a credit score alone. They also have this income insights, which I will show you a little bit later, but it's basically a thumbs up, thumbs down as to whether they, they believe that the applicant is being truthful in their um, income numbers. It's also worth pointing out that this little disclaimer is on their website. It basically says that they will not return criminal results for Delaware, Hawaii, Kentucky, Massachusetts, New Jersey, South Dakota, Wyoming, and Cook County, Illinois. Now, unfortunately, this is a bit of a downer for those areas um, because I would always recommend that landlords pull national criminal data. And so if you're screening anybody, um, if you're screening for a property and those locations, it's going to make it, obviously, you're just not going to get any criminal data. So it makes it really tough to get a full picture about those um, applicants. So now let's move on to showing you how the process itself works. So what's going to happen is you're going to log in and create a login as a landlord. And the first thing you'll do is you come over here to add a property. Pretty straightforward. Put in your uh, rental units information, rent amount, deposit amount. You can, you can even have this um, cool little box checked here about how you can auto decline people with open breakups and bankruptcies within a certain amount of time. So that is a nice feature. And once you've added the property, then you come up here to start an application. And this is where you'll select that property that you just made. And then you'll put in your applicant's email right here. Um, the cool thing about this is that it's just, it's very nice and straightforward and easy to get it out to them. But unfortunately, it also means you can't just take a link and put it online. You have to already have their email address to stick it in here. This is how most tenant screening services do it. So it's not a real big um, downside to using my smart move. And here you can select who's going to pay. Almost always, you'll probably want to select the renter. And then they only give you the option to select one bundle, the their their premium bundle. But seeing as it's such a it's that it's really the only option that you probably want to select, I have no problem with that being the default here. And then the renter's picking up the tab, you send the screening request. It's going to shoot an email over to your applicant, and then they will click here in order to kickstart the process for themselves. Then after they've created their account, then it will ask them personal information, first name, last name, date of birth, put in their social security number, all this other personal information, income information, employment status. Then they click next, and they're taken to a page to pay. Now, if you'll notice, there's not a whole lot of information they're asking for on the application itself. They're not asking for any vehicle information. They're not asking who all is going to be on the lease. Um, they're not asking for pet information. They don't ask for past, um, past address history, that sort of thing. Now, some of those will come up in the credit report, but some of those things they just don't ask for at all. Um, so some thorough landlords may need to follow up later with the applicants in order to gather all the information they want. However, it is nice to have a short application process as you'll probably have more people actually finish the process. Okay, and then as the landlord, you can come back in and you can see that you have an application and you click on the application. And then, so what I did here, these are what the reports actually look like. I, I took screenshots, but because I had to use a real person's information in order to um, pull a real credit report, I had I, I have since blocked out blacked out some of the um, private details here. So name, address up front, and the credit report. They will check the social security number, which is a nice little ID verification they'll do for you. They have the last three addresses and where the person works. So that makes it really nice for you to do, um, to pull rental history, talk to past landlords, and talk to past or current employers. You come down here, still in the credit report, is the profile summary. You see the trade lines. This is basically who they've borrowed money from and who they currently owe money to how many inquiries they've had in the last two years, 
And then here's just an overall view of what the credit, credit limits are, the balances are, and then you get a total down here where you can see how much, how big their payments are every month. Do they have anything past due? Their total balance of debt um, gives you really nice insight into how into your applicant's finances. Here, like I mentioned before, they have their resident score that can give you all the negative score factors, what's driving the score down. And then as you scroll down the credit report, you'll begin to see all the individual trade lines that this person has. I really like to see this payment amount here. So you can go through and you can say, okay, they have 10 credit cards open. They owe this much per month. Okay, this person's paying, for example, two grand a month in credit cards. That's going to factor pretty negatively in their ability to pay their rent each month. And then, of course, you can also see um, all these green check marks means these are all months that they've paid on time. So this, so the status of this card is they are paid or paying as agreed. You can scroll through all of their cards and see if they're up to date on everything. As I scroll down, you see National Criminal Report. It's pretty simple here. You can see here zero records, zero records, zero records, zero records. So this person has no criminal background. An eviction record is also very simple. It just says no records available. And as I mentioned before, we have the Income Insights Report where this person gets a thumbs up. We estimate Cameron's income is close to or higher than what they reported. Now, um, if you're a landlord, you can either choose to trust this and move on, or if you want to be thorough, you can still follow up and ask for W-2s or bank statements or to follow up with employers or, or whatnot. But seeing as how this is coming from TransUnion, I would probably trust this number. And, and I can tell you in the case of this test person that these numbers are accurate. So overall, Smart Move appears to be a, a very good tenant screening service for landlords. I, I really like that they're powered by TransUnion, so you can trust all their numbers and everything they're pulling, more so than probably just about any other tenant screening service out there. And um, the biggest downside is probably that they don't have the national criminal data for those, for those states I mentioned earlier. Uh, but if you're not in any of those areas, this is a stellar service, and they're at a very good price as well. I know at the price, at the $42 for their package, um, we'll get that will be paid for by the renter, but you'll also have more applicants than if you had another service charge and say $60 to your applicants. Okay, that is the end of my review, and thank you for listening.